Hello, I'm Xavier. And I'm Junior. And this is TCTV. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Hope for the Holidays spans the whole month of November until December 2nd. The Hope for the Holidays fundraiser organized by TC's National Honor Society benefits local families in need during the holiday season by donating all the money that is raised. Students can donate in their English classes by purchasing cutout trees for 50 cents, snowmen for $1, stars for $5, or gingerbread men for $20. The class that raises the most money will win an ice cream party. Here at Timber Creek, AP government students have been taking part in a mock election. We sat down with teacher Michael Otto to explain this class project. A mock election is an attempt to go ahead and simulate an election between political parties uh, under classroom conditions. And I try to apply some of the same factors that go on in the regular election uh, to the class. Random things will occur, they have campaign budgets they need to work with, etc. Mr. Otto also elaborated on the process of the mock election. It's a, actually a five-round election, and each day uh, has about 45 minutes of the 90-minute period dedicated as a round. Uh, so basically, uh, each round simulates one phase of the election, the primaries, the debates, etc. Students are assigning their political parties, even though their personal ideals and beliefs may differ. And I try not to go ahead and let their own ideologies go ahead and dictate which side they'll be on. That way, uh, sometimes they have to go ahead and argue their opponent's point, which I think is actually educational for them. We asked if the current election between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump had any effect over the mock election and how similar the mock election is to a real election. Well, I try to bring in real factors that actually were relevant to the actual election. Um, when the students come in, they will occasionally draw cards. Uh, these cards will go ahead and simulate some factor that the real candidates might have to contend with, a bad economy, uh, donations from a super PAC, which is a fundraising organization, um, a scandal, et cetera. And the students have to go ahead and contend with those just like uh, Trump and Clinton do in the current election. Finally, we asked, why is it important for eligible students to vote this year? I think uh, this is well-trodden ground. I think that I'm not going to tell students anything about voting that they haven't already heard a thousand times before, but just in case you haven't heard it, you absolutely need to do it. The absolute worst thing you can be in this country is indifferent, uh, and that, I would suggest, uh, should go ahead and motivate you to get out there and do your part to go ahead and make the decisions that the people in power rely upon. Timber Creek's advanced fashion design class students are putting together a fashion show in the spring. On Wednesday, November 9th, 2016, the students will be hosting model casting calls for anyone and anyone can audition. There are no requirements to sign up. Roughly 50 models are needed for the show. Students can pick up applications for, for the auditions in Miss Smith's room M105. Keller ISD is hosting a college fair at Timber Creek on November 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. Make sure you go. November is National Novel Writing Month, and every Wednesday for a library will be open late for students who want to write. Taffy and FCCLA are selling It's Your Spice fundraising. The fundraiser ends on November 7th. If you want to buy a Falcon Shake Spice, see an FCCLA member, a Taffy member, Miss Smith, or Miss Williams. That's all for your morning announcements. Have a great day, Timber Creek.